أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلى الله على نبي الكريم Thank you Gimba and uh, let me particularly thank you and your team and your crew who have been here to witness this uh, series of events marking the wedding of my daughter Hafsa with um, uh, a young man Abu Bakr Sadiq Lawal Badamasi we thank God Almighty for uh, bringing today and all the next days we are going to witness marking the event. We, uh, as a family, as head of uh, my immediate family, I thank God Almighty for his favors, blessings, and uh, unlimited, unlimited bounties that he has granted us as a family. First, um, to have the children. Uh, because uh, this is not what one can go to a market and buy. It is just the blessings of God. And he has said it in his holy books. Second, to give them the right upbringing, the right morals, and put them on the path of uh, self-development, um, get them educated, you know, get them into right schools, reading right subjects, and then uh, making them to be the human beings that they deserve to be. Um, we must also thank relations because child upbringing is not, is not just a, uh, a one man's business. Right from the parents, the community, and indeed the entire relations. Uh, there is a popular adage, it takes a village to raise a child. And so we thank everybody that has, in one way or the other, um, assisted us in giving the right direction, the right morals, the right upbringing to our children. Uh, in, in this regard, I, I, I thank the immediate community because uh, what we lost uh, which, has been practiced, which was being practiced in the past was a child is everybody's child. A neighbor will not see your child messing up, uh, conducting himself in, or herself in a manner that is not befitting and just keep quiet. Um, we must, we must, or I must, as uh, a father, thank my neighbors because from time to time they play fatherly role even when I'm absent, when I'm away, and uh, that in no small measure will not be taken for granted, and I believe they have infected positively. So we thank God for giving us to raise children, to give them education, and to witness uh, them one by one getting married. Uh, the, the, the boys, uh, two of them are already married with children, the girls, uh, two already married. This is the third girl be married uh, from my immediate family, uh, Hafsat. And so we thank God that he is showing us today and giving us um, the, 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 the life to witness all this in, in, in good health. In, 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 you know, we are grateful to God in all manners, in all respects. God has really uh, blessed us and uh, we thank him immensely and will continue to bless him and to thank him. And the glory goes to Almighty God. Adrian, I couldn't help but to ask her. And some people said to me that Hafset is one of your favorites, if not the favorite. Do you dispute that? We, 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 I have many favorites. Hafset uh, bears a name of my auntie the wife of my senior brother, late senior brother. She is also late. Um, remember, there is also Maimuna, who bears the name of my mother. And so I have many favorites. I have many of them, in all honesty. How would you describe perhaps growing up as a child, becoming a young adult? Yeah, let, let me tell you, in terms of character, in terms of attitude, in terms of uh, conduct, 
uh, certainly there will be disparity among, uh, you know, even, even twins, between twins. You will see this one exhibiting one character and the other one exhibiting another. That is, that is God's making. Hafsat is patient. Hafsat is respectful. Hafsat is modest, even in demands as a child. Hafsat listens to instruction. Hafsat is calm. Hafsat is accommodating. Hafsat is patient. Hafsat, you know, I will, it will be endless. So, uh, and I do appreciate all this. And that's why some people may mistake me to be inclined to her. Uh, indeed, others are equally good and excellent, but Hafsat is certainly exceptional. I cannot remember, I have not for once raised my finger against her. Of course, there are others having the same uh, pre-degree, if I may call that. But certainly, I have never raised a finger or any negative word against her. her. Against her. I, it's because of, of her conduct, of her attitude, of her behavior, of her loyalty to fatherly instructions and submission. She is submissive. And I congratulate the young man uh, for having her as a wife in, in, all, in all respects. I really congratulate him. He is also calm. Remember, I am instrumental to this marriage, single-handedly. I am personally instrumental, having seen the character in the boy, uh, having seen the, the, the manner uh, in which he conducts himself as a young man. He has some senior ones who, were, who are not married yet, but why his choice? Certainly there must be certain attractions, certain attributes that entice, isn't it? And I can see the matching of the two being an excellent match, an excellent union that we pray it should be. Inshallah. What words of advice do you have for both of them? Um, my advice is they should, uh, first of all, first of all, um, be submissive to the will of God, to the injunctions of God, because they are going into uh, a social contract that is guided, well guided, spiritually under religious injunctions. And so they should respect those injunctions, which are very clear. He should know his role as a husband. She should know her role as a wife. And then <laughs> the general uh, advice, they should have trust in each other. They should respect each other. They should accommodate each other. Certainly, there may be one or two things done that the other may not like. But understanding, accommodation, and uh, you know, looking at the matter from others' point of view, and more importantly, discussing matters, and they should keep matters strictly between themselves. Uh, I don't expect Hafsad to come and tell me, Sadiq yesterday was frowning face. I mean. I don't expect that. And that certainly I also don't expect Sadiq to go to his dad or mom that Hafsad was frowning face. These are matters which can easily be uh, discussed, tabled, and uh, that is life, that is normal. And certainly, if such could happen, I would tell her that, look, do you know what happened between me and your mom? So please go and reconcile yourself. I don't go to anywhere. To, to, to lodge complaint. And they should also, um, yes, trust each other and take each other. First, he should take her as a sister, junior sister for that matter. And in some instances, he could even take her 
as a senior sister or as a mother, depending on the circumstance. In other words, he should listen to her. She should also take him first as a brother, possibly junior brother, but more importantly, senior brother or a father, because his responsibility for her upkeep, for her everything, you know, at least should be considered in, in all respects. He now takes the burden. The burden is completely off me or us now. Morally, spiritually, religiously, he has taken that burden. And he should have that level of uh, understanding and respect for that level of enormous burden that he's taken. Uh, she is a wife first, and she must look at him as a husband with respect, utmost respect. Yes. But more importantly, I think at this point, I would like to thank all and sundry that have shown us support uh, under this uh, condition, uh, joyful condition we find ourselves. People from different parts of the country uh, are here with us to celebrate with us. And uh, the wedding party will be taking place, inshallah, next tomorrow on Saturday. But people are already in Kano. Today is Thursday. You are already here. Uh, people have supported us in various forms, in kind, in cash, in amazing ways. Uh, we, 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 we are grateful as a family. I'm personally grateful. And uh, I look forward to reciprocating this type of gesture to all and sundry. Um, I'm particularly happy with the way Amana colleagues, working colleagues, have shown support to this uh, endeavor. And uh, friends, well wishes, very close friends, look at Control TV and your humble self here for almost two, three days back, and you are still staying till the next two, three days. Uh, I don't take this for granted, and I look forward to reciprocating th these gestures, which in any way um, are so amazing, so enticing, so, uh, you know, sometimes I lack words, but I thank God and I thank all those who have really supported us. Yes, thank you so much. And I wish uh, when at the end of the events, people are going back, they go in peace, they have journey masses, and they reach their destinations safely. I take this as, you know, the climax of love that people, friends, well wishers, uh, colleagues at work, people we worked before at different levels of my life have shown me. I thank all and God bless all. Thank you.